This is Kim Hammer with your devotion taken from the book of Ruth, chapter 1, beginning with verse 19, going through the end of the chapter. We find that Naomi and Ruth have found their way back to Naomi's hometown in Bethlehem in Judea. They had left the land of the Moabites and had come back home because they had heard that the famine was over, and Naomi wanted to go back to her kinsman redeemer. She comes back into town, which was not a big town, so it didn't take long for word to spread. And we find that people greeted her and they asked the question and said, are you the same Naomi that left? Now you have to think about everything that happened to Naomi since she left that attributed to the, to the conversation or to the, to the question that the people asked her. She left with a husband and two boys and she came back without them, but she came back with this woman that nobody knew anything about. You know about the uh, stress of relocating to a foreign country because you've been driven away from yours due to the famine and having to live under the challenges of being in another nation took its toll on her as well. But the main reason that she had changed was because of her appearance of being that of grief and of sorrow because of the events of life that had happened. And she said when they called her Naomi, said, don't call me that anymore, you call me Mara. Now the reason she wanted to be called Mara is defined in what she said she experienced from God during the time that she was gone. She blamed God for making life bitter for her. She accused God of emptying her life of anything of value. She blamed God for afflicting her, and she blamed God for her misfortune. Now, that sounds like a bitter woman, a bitter woman who was still trying to figure things out, and the only one that she had around to blame was God. She didn't have her husband anymore. She didn't have her boys anymore. But she did have this woman, her daughter-in-law, named Ruth, who was kind of a bright spot in her life. You know, even in the darkest days, whenever we're going through the hardest times, God always has a bright, a bright spot in our life. Now, regarding what she felt toward God, she was just being honest. She was just being transparent. And I believe she had that kind of a relationship with God that she could say those things because she knew that God already knew she thought those things. And so she just said them. But the one thing I want you to notice, that in spite of what she said, here's what she didn't say. She didn't say that she was gonna leave God. She didn't say that she was gonna quit on God. She didn't say that she was gonna run away from God. And she didn't say that God didn't have a purpose for everything that was going on. But for where she was at this time in her life, this is exactly what she was feeling. And that's why she didn't wanna be called Naomi anymore but she wanted a different name that reflected what she was feeling. Sometimes in life, it piles on us. And sometimes we even wanna get mad at God and challenge God. And we might even get bitter with God because our life has been made bitter. The God you and I serve, if you know Jesus Christ as your savior, is a God who's big enough to take it. But deep down inside for everything we may say, if we don't quit on God, if we don't run away from God, and if we wait for God to reveal his purpose, then maybe our life will turn out just the way that Naomi's life turned out.